Mood can influence how we dress and I'm sure that what we're wearing can influence our mood. So if you're a guy and you want to project an image of a suave alpha male with a positive outlook on life, how do you go about it? I decided to get you lucky men some answers from Ziad Nanabai. At first glance, contemporary menswear may seem like a one-trick pony, with a palette based on greys and neutrals and two buttons or three being the big trend question. Fortunately, there are ways for men to create and express their personal style, and the secret lies in taking conventional elements and presenting them in innovative and imaginative ways. At the same time, the look should also embody a sense of balance and harmony. This all requires close attention to detail, and for Ziad Nanabai, it all begins with measuring up the customer to achieve the perfect fit. Hello! Hi, good to see you. <laughs> you too! Hello, good, to see you. good to see you. Good to see you too. We're just about finished. Ah, oh, thanks, buddy. Thank you so much. Yeah. We'll I'll definitely see you have a chat soon. Cheers, Thank you. Cheers. There is nothing sexier than a man in a suit. Please tell us about your looks, Yad. Oh, okay. So this is the Cavalier Casanova suit. A well-tailored suit is to women what lingerie is to men. It is a Mediterranean blue pure wool fabric. I've chosen a V-shaped triangular formation button waistcoat with a pure cotton paisley lining. And I finished the outfit off with a paisley pocket square in purple, which matches my tie. But you had a completely different career path in mind. You know, with, uh, with our communities, you're either a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer for that matter. So I ended up going to law school and I completed my legal degree. And I finished right through to the end, including articles as well as board exams, and I got admitted as an attorney. But in this time, I developed a passion for suits and formal wear. And I used to enjoy putting outfits together, even as an article clerk in the law firm. So I had then thought about my next move, and I had planned my journey into entrepreneurship to end up where I am today, which is at Cavalier. Well, I would love to see a round Cavalier. Sure. Let me show you <laughs> so what we have here is our feature wall of ties as well as bow ties. We have the paisleys, we have the polka dots. I also have a range of woven bow ties, which are very much in fashion at the moment. I absolutely love bow ties. Is that so? Wonderful. Ziad caters for clients who, like him, marched to the beat of their own drum. So was your move to men's fashion plain sailing? Not at all. Um, you know, leaving a secure job and going into the field of entrepreneurship, there's always uncertainty. Uh, but when you have vision and purpose and you, you know where you're going, it becomes a lot easier to see where you want to be. And what advice would you give aspiring entrepreneurs? Believe in yourself. When no one believes in you, all you have is yourself. I always believe that you have to plan ahead. Um, you have to be one step ahead of everybody else. But the planning stage can never be forgotten. And what are some of your highlights and challenges you've experienced so far in your journey? South Africa is a place with entrepreneurs, but a shortage of funding. So the biggest challenge for any entrepreneur is getting over that hurdle. It does require you to maneuver yourself in a position where you are able to get funding from somebody. Um, I've, I've had to max out credit cards, I've had to take bonds on houses. But at the end of, it, at, at the end of the day, it is all worthwhile. Ziad, what sets you apart from other men's outfitters? Well, let me show you. Fabrics are the foundation of the look, and Ziad has an eye for quality, texture and character. Cavalier is a place unlike any other. I like to call this my theatre of style. It is a place where gentlemen can come to feel special. Each suit is crafted for the individual and is one in seven and a half billion. Ziad, what is the essence of your personal style? I would say it is classic with a fresh modern twist. So we like to do slightly narrower lapels. We also like to cut the suit jacket slightly shorter to give a more sportier feel. We've done a double-breasted suit, which is a slim fit double-breasted suit, a fresh take on an old classic. We've also done suits with a classic V-shaped waistcoat in very high quality fabric, which allows for a better drape and a better wear on the gentleman. Which items would you say are essential in the wardrobe of the stylish man? I would definitely say a pocket square is one of the essentials that I don't leave the house without. It complements any outfit and it gives a sense of sophistication as well as class to any outfit. Um, recently there has been a resurgence in socks. There are many colourful types of socks available and I also found that this is something that complements an outfit perfectly. What would you say are the hallmarks of good design? It must complement the gentleman's feel and his approach to the way he likes to wear his clothing. So I like to design clothing that's fresh, different, but at the same time classic enough 
for the man not to look outdated at any point. Do you have any style tips for our viewers? Be yourself in everything that you do. You are as stylish as you believe. If you are comfortable in your own skin and in your own suit, that is in fact the essence of style.